to me. Oh, their body, baby. Hey, I feel so free. Oh, man. And also, you guys see this baby here, the $1,900 Zen Tour? It's literally built with the same quality. The knob is the same. The durability of the faceplate is the same. The body, the build, everything is literally the same. But the difference is this is a quarter of the price. This audio interface is equipped with high-end, large format, professional recording studio quality. And you guys are actually listening to it right now. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am Archie Beats and I am here to help. And today we have the first USB bus powered audio interface from Antelope Audio, the Zen Go Synergy Core. Let's go. Recently, Antelope Audio just released its first USB bus powered audio interface, and this is the beautiful Zengo Synergy Core. I only can say one thing, it's great. If you're on the market for an audio interface and you don't wanna spend $1,000, you don't wanna spend $700, this is an audio interface that's under $500. It comes in at $499, so it's right there at $500, but this is definitely an option. And as I stated, the Antelope Zen Go Synergy Core is Antelope's first USB bus powered audio interface. So it's a pretty big deal because Antelope Audio is one of the highest quality manufacturers of audio interface converters in the industry period. They are definitely in the top. This is top of the line stuff here. And what they have done, they've compacted all that expensive $3,000, $4,000 audio interface and converters into this tiny unit here. Of course, with some exceptions, but before we get started, if you guys are interested in anything that you've seen in my home studio or you're interested in the Zen Go Synergy Core, please check the description below. I have everything listed down there. Also, I have other gear on there that could possibly help you on your creative journey. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. Thank you. This audio interface is equipped with high-end, large format, professional recording studio quality. And you guys are actually listening to it right now. I have my Norman TLM 103 going directly into it. It just gives you the ability to record high quality songs right at home on your desktop. As you can see, it's a desktop style audio interface. And I can tell you right now, their vast library of Synergy Core analog modeled effects is really high end and it's top of the line. Pristine sounding, it's the real deal. It also gives you that ability to shape your sound with precision and quality. It's like going in and surgically just making your music better. And you are doing this all while monitoring directly with extremely low latency. So let's talk about the specs on it. First of all, the IO is equipped with four inputs and four outputs. It is bus powered with USB-C, of course. It comes with a USB-C cable, but they also give you an adapter so you can use that traditional USB-A. And it has two discrete preamps that's on board these two combination XLR quarter inch um, jacks at the back of this audio interface. And you got high Z mode for those awesome guitar licks you can see right there up at the front. And just because you don't see it at the front, it also has high Z mode for those combo XLR jacks at the back, input jacks at the back. And it has six 64-bit AFC clocking. So I'm a film composer and the 64-bit clocking is right in line with the clocking of the big Hollywood motion pictures, which I'm actually working on a film now, so we're gonna put that to the test. So you are getting the most powerful onboard effects processing in this class. You're getting great plugins that's included with this audio interface. It's extremely portable, as you guys can see, and you guys see it, it's right here in my hand. It could practically go in a jacket. You wouldn't, don't put it in your jacket. And the loopback feature for streaming is really easy to use. And if you have a Mac, it's plug and play, literally. And also, you guys see this baby here, the $1,900 Zen Tour? It's literally built with the same quality. The knob is the same. The durability of the faceplate is the same. The body, the build, everything is literally the same. But the difference is this is a quarter of the price. It's perfect for YouTubers as well. As you guys can see, we're talking through it right now. As we stated earlier with the TLM 103 going directly to here, going directly to the camera. It's good, great for streaming. It's great for project studios. It's great for DJs. It's absolutely awesome. And as far as the physical build of it, you guys see it has a 
screen, a high quality screen right here. You have a gang button, a headphone and monitor button and an analog button so you can navigate through the audio interface. And it also has a really high quality and durable knob that you can pretty much control your gain, your monitor and your headphones with right here on board the audio interface, the physical interface itself. And at the back, you do have your spitter in and out. You also have a monitor left and right that goes for RCA as well, not just with the quarter inch, but you do have an RCA option. And then of course the XLR, the two XLR at the back. And then your audio interface can breathe a little bit because it has vents on both sides. So you don't really have to worry about overheating. It hadn't overheated since I've had it running. And right now you guys know we are doing the audio test. So I've been running it for a little over 24 hours and it's still as cool as a ice cube. <laughs> and it sounds great see that no warming up so we're going to go ahead and jump on the screen to show you guys how to actually use the platform and the control panel that came with the antelope zen go let's go on this screen here you guys don't see a doll recording software production software because i want you guys to specifically focus on the ui of the zen go and the antelope control panel of the zen go so the first thing you want to do when you actually launch the Zen Go Synergy Core, well, the Antelope Launcher, you will get, you know, whichever audio interface from Antelope that you have or the microphones, the mic modeling microphones, it will be right here. You just simply open it by hitting Start Control Panel and you end up on this screen right here. Now, as you guys can see, it's very sleek, it's very clean, it's very organized, which is very important when it comes to um, a control panel for any type of audio interface that I'm working with. And like I said, this is one of the top ones. So at the top pedal, you guys see the Zen Go, of course. The clock source, which is USB, the sample rate 44.1 for demonstration purposes, session, save, load. You guys know the whole shebang is up there. But I want you guys to specifically focus on this little section here. This is the microphone line level high Z section right here. And you guys see you actually have the input, the gang right here, which you can control as well. But you also have another part and place where you can control the game, which is within your preamps. We're gonna to get to that, guys. As you guys can see right here, this red button is Phantom Power, 48 volts. Now, you just can't walk up to it and just click this button. It's not gonna happen like that. You actually have to hold down Command and you can click it. It's like a safe switch, so you won't blow your ears out because there is a pop whenever you're initiating Phantom Power, so that's cool. Then you have your, your, your phase switch right here, and you also have your mic modeling, so if you have a microphone that's compatible, there you go. You can use your microphone um, modeling right there, but we are not gonna focus on that. So let's move along to the actual top of the IO, which is preamp, preamp two, computer play, computer play two, spit of in and spit of out. There's another way to get to this as well by hitting the digital out right there, and there you go. You can see your monitoring right there. And right here, we on headphones one, which is basically, I'm using headphone one to hear the playback of what I'm doing right now. And if I go to headphone two, which is really awesome right here, guys, this is an, an indication that this audio interface has two quarter inch headphone outs right there at the front with headphone plugs right here at the front of the audio interface, which is really cool. Most high-end audio interfaces that I work with, I have to either cascade it or daisy chain it to utilize multiple audio interfaces so I can have multiple headphones, which is really expensive. So this is ready to go. And these right here are just indicators and name tabs right here. You can't really click them like that. But let's talk about this section here, this blank space. This blank space is where you get all of those AFX effects. So if I hit here, add new effect, let's go with my favorite preamp which is a, a Neve 1073. This is the Bay, the B-A-E 1073 MP, which is really awesome. So as you guys can see, it opened up really quick and you can control the output of it right here. You can flip it right here, but we're gonna keep it down at 300 and sounds great. Really modeled just perfectly after the Bay 1073 MP. It's very simple, very sleek, clean interface. Well, yeah, I said interface, but user interface right here. Um, looks just like the hardware, feels like the hardware, sounds like the hardware. So that's the only thing we can ask for. And the next thing is I go to my favorite vocal compressor, and this is all real-time printing. You can't really use this inside of your DAW, but you can use it going into your DAW, which it's printing directly. You can't change it after it's recorded. This is just what it is. And as you guys can see, we can do that right there. We crank that compression up. And I actually have the real 
1176 attached to my 6176 so and this sounds very close to it the release you guys can hear that and let's put about eight ratio so our compressor is working and I do have right now the setup is the Norman um, TLM 103 going directly into the Zen Go the first part of the video where you guys heard me singing during the teaser that was no effects on it at all that was the pure audio interface and a pure microphone plugged into the audio interface I want you guys to see these things and we, we're doing it real time we're not going to record anything in a doll we want you guys to hear this as I just screen record it and get the direct action in here so you guys see our meters aren't really working because we don't have really too much anything so there we go it's pretty much crushed right now but now we got a little movement on the needle so it really it is very responsive um, there's no delay in using these effects at all but we just record set up what you want to set up whether you have a guitar you have any just set it up and just just go right to work and let's get out of here real quick by exiting it and when you exit it you're not taking off your effects you guys can see now there they are right there and we can do that along with preamp 2 Oh, how we want to do it guys and what I want you guys to pay attention to is this other top panel over here is this is where you control your reverb your um, your Aurora verb right here and this next little tab here is very important as well if you guys like to sleep clean eight you know just viewing eight faders that's perfectly fine but if you want to have the full layout and full shebang there you go you just hit that over there in 16 it's a bit overwhelming if you're a person that just like a clean screen so you just keep it at eight and that's you know you're good to go and down here you guys see you have your monitor section right here and you can control your monitors right here and you can also control it on the audio interface and you control your headphones right there as well so man this is cool right and that's what i like about the zen go because because it is the user interface is great the audio interface is it's it's easy the user interface is easy to use so that's all we can ask for so you're getting high quality high-end recording studio professional grade industry standard recording by using the Zen Go so yeah and don't forget these are your settings up here so whenever you see the little screw that's your settings and you can just exit out of there but let's take a look at the doll real quick if you guys are using Pro Tools Logic anything Studio One FL Studio you sure you guys are used to the I.O. and the playback engine peripherals, whatever you are using. You go to your playback engine and you just select the Zen Go up here to make sure that everything is running. You can do that or you can do your Pro Tools aggregated with multiple devices. So as you guys can see right here in my playback engine, I chose the Zen Go Synergy Core USB and everything's running just perfectly. And if I want to record something, all I have to do is just initiate the recording and you guys are gonna see this in real time and as I stated before see it's recording me there we go and that is a great sign right here we got a good recording going so basically what's happening the real-time effects processing I have going right here is recording in Pro Tools I cannot change it in Pro Tools I also can't initiate the plugins which is the little downside to it but hey this is how they used to do it back in the day they used to get the greatest signal possible and then just start chopping away whatever was on board or on hand the console and this is a really this just embody that classic style real music recording which is awesome and I love it this is a great audio interface you guys see it's so simple look at that and we getting real signal right here and man if you guys are interested y'all make sure y'all check it out below let's go ahead and get out of here so I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video the Antelope Zen Go is absolutely an awesome audio interface it sounds great it's easy to use it's heavy duty it's really quality it just sounds great as you guys can hear here I love it I really do think that this is a great audio interface for any producer any DJ any singer songwriter any artist any film composer this is a great audio interface so if you guys have any questions about the Zen Go Synergy Core please comment them below and I'll be happy to answer them you guys are absolutely awesome don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Archie Beats this is your boy Archie Beats and I'm signing off Archie Beats on the beat, yeah. yeah.